18 past eight in the evening. I'm making this log because I've been doing things throughout the day. And although in the moment, because I was feeling dehydrated, I don't want to do it. I'm doing it anyway because I have long term goals in mind. I, I value taking care of my health on a daily basis. And even if I go out my way to do it a little bit, bit by bit each day, I'd rather that than not do anything at all when I don't want to. When, I've, when I haven't consciously, consciously said to myself, I don't want to have a rest day. Instead of doing push-ups though, like how I've been doing for these past few days just to have something to show, I'm going to actually try and do a little bit of L-sit practice, just freestyle it. I haven't got anything planned, but I'm already looking at this part of the sofa and I'm thinking I could have my legs stood up here and then do it. But for free space, see this, um, I won't be able to hold it properly, I'll just do it like this. That's difficult enough as it is. Just having my hands off the ground, keeping my bum high up, using my tricep muscles, flexing them. My my legs are uh, spread out like this, I need to have them in, and I need to have them closer in together. Now that I'm just here, just on the sofa, maybe I could use this as a balance to get my bum off the ground and also get my feet off the ground. I'd tuck to do both, to get both my bum and feet off the ground, but it's been so long, I, I'm trying to think about how I'd do it. And in order to do it, I think I've got to keep my feet pointed like this. So I'll try. And keeping my legs as close as I can to each other. They're right by their sides. Okay, I think I'm leaning too far back. And I'm not consciously using my abs, so I could do that too. I did that time round. This is unnecessarily difficult. And imagine from doing this sort of stuff and starting from somewhere, I'd be able to do V sits for however long I'd want to do them, let alone L sits. I know I can on the premise I keep working toward it, but at the moment I'm finding it extremely difficult. It's a starting place. I've got to start somewhere. As you know, it's not a starting place. I've been doing L sit practice on and off. I really don't know where to go from here. What is it like to have feet and bum off the ground? There's a lot of, um, I feel it in my hamstrings quite a bit, but when I've tried it outside in the past and had my feet on the brick wall, it's like, I, I, I it's not like that, it is like that. I, <clears throat> no, it's not like that. I actually would be feeling my quads ex, ex, um, flexing. I was gonna say, it's like my quads flex. No, it's not like they flex, they actually flex. That's what I was trying to say there. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm thinking perhaps maybe just try just lifting my feet up from this position. Oh, um, this reminds me of day 146 where I was just laughing from trying, from trying to get my feet off the ground and thinking that I look like an idiot. I don't think I do this high round though. I'm laughing at, I'm trying not to laugh at myself when I say that rather ironically. My bum's barely off the floor. Look at this. That's it, that's, that's the most. I can lift my bum off the ground. Maybe that's not helping. Okay, I've just thought maybe for reference, I should just try and keep my knees to my chest. I have that as a reference, so let's try that out. I haven't tried that. And without trying to do that, this is what I get. So let's try that. Oh, this is so hard. This is so hard. This is so hard. Oh, how long does this footage have left? Oh, for, for, 40 minutes. Man, I think I genuinely might just go up on YouTube on the laptop and try and find something. 
this is ridiculous. They said Elsie on the rings. This person's doing it with boxes in between. Um, so they have their their um, hands on two boxes and then they're keeping themselves off the ground like that. And as they've got their shirt, their shirt off, it's obvious that they're using their ab muscles and their chest muscles. And they're extending their legs. Else it kicks. All right. Well, I'm not doing that, but I can do this. Oh, that I that oh, actually no, you probably won't be able to see it. Should be able to see this. This I can do. It doesn't help that I've, I've got something diagonal here and if I were to do it straight, if I were to do it on this corner here, I'd have to stretch really far out. I could use one of the small tables but I don't think it would be stable so this is, this, this will do, I can, I can do this, alright. I'm not using my abs enough. Pardon me, well, at least I've got a start in place. I was doing something that was way too difficult. <sighs> All right, that's why I can start off then. Having my hands like this so I can get as much, like dig, I could dig my hands into the chair as, or into the sofa as much as I, as I can. Flex my triceps like I was doing before on the floor and then let my bum come off the chair and then push really hard into the into the ground with my hands and tense my uh, my abs at the same time. And I've got that when doing those two things and also leaning back. Well, I've at least got a start in place to move forward from because I've tried doing it. Oh. Try doing it on the floor, trying to run before I could crawl basically, and it's just too much. One of my biology teachers was saying that during A levels, and it seems like that's the case. Even when I remember gaming, trying to do better in difficulty before I've even tried beginner or, or before I've even tried regular. <sighs> Making progress with fitness just does not work like that and I'd even do that in the gym with weightlifting when I'd try and lift 100 kg just to keep on progressing before I could efficiently lift 80 kg for six reps for example I'm probably even closer to that than I was back then but still my point still stands that I was trying to do things that I couldn't handle and that's been something I've set myself up with starting from when I'd be trying to do GCSEs, try to get A's in like two weeks where I'd be at the C and C's and B's and D's. Yeah, progressing with fitness and just most things just does not work like that. All right, anyway, I, I, I can plan my programming around that. I think I'll leave it there though because I've got uh, another film, another vlog to film in preparation for the move so I'm gonna leave it there I'm done but at least I've got something which I can um, use to actually make some solid progress with my L sits and eventually master the skill peace I'm done peace I found something though